In a Violent Nature is a brand new 2024 horror slasher that premiered at Sundance Film Festival in January of 2024, and this is directed by Chris Nash. This is a Canadian film, and this has been appearing at certain festivals here and there. Uh, Overlook was one of them, and it recently premiered uh, close to my hometown uh, here in Ontario in Waterloo, and I got a chance to see it in cinemas. And I'm glad I did because this one was on my radar and this seemed like a film that I certainly would want to support in theaters. And it's very, very independent. It's quite low budget and it's definitely a passion project 100% through and through. It felt like that from the trailers and it certainly feels like that <clears throat> with all its marketing and watching the film itself, obviously. Uh, what we have going on here is basically this is a love letter to slashers in all intents and purposes. We have this whole lure that takes place in this like small community town. Just pretty much all the film takes place in, in the woods, in the forest. And uh, it's these, you know, group of kids basically having a camping trip essentially and everything plays very reminiscent to Friday the 13th even with like the campfire story and there's this urban legend of this guy named Johnny who when he was a kid was killed in this uh fire tower accident. Legend has it that he holds on to this necklace that basically is his cherished item kind of thing and keeps him buried so long as he has it but somebody ends up taking it at the beginning of the movie and as we are to predict <laughs> all hell ensues after that. The plot is definitely very simple and very traditional which I have no problem with and this film is getting a lot of buzz for its kills and its gore. They're all practical. Pretty much everything you've heard especially with one certain particular kill that is being talked about a lot is very true. And this film definitely delivers with its gore and its violence being titled In a Violent Nature. It's very appropriate. And I just had a blast with it. Am I a bit biased because of this film being Canadian and being true to my heart a little bit? Kind of in a way, yes, um, because this film is feels close to home. It is close to home. I love independent films that are that utilize its budget perfectly, like like this one does. So this is definitely my type of movie. The film for those who don't know, is from the perspective of the killer. So you're basically literally following the killer throughout the film. Now, a lot of people were saying that this is how 100% of the film is. It, I, it's certainly not. There's a lot of scenes in the film that aren't in the killer's perspective that are focusing on the, the guys and the girls vacationing, focusing on other characters. There's moments in the film throughout, a lot of them, that don't even have the killer on screen. So this this film is not, you know, 100% beginning to end just a camera on the, ser on the serial killer like I thought it was gonna be and like a lot of people were making it out to be. For people who were afraid to watch the film because they thought it was just gonna be literally watching a guy walk around for an hour and a half, it's not. I like the characters even though the characters are very bare bones and you're not gonna get much depth or um, character development with any of them really. They certainly, know exactly what kind of film they're in. I think every character has like a personality still and there's definitely funny moments with a lot of them. They're not boring and they're 100% believable, all of them. Um, I didn't really look up names other than Chris, Na Chris Nash, sorry, who directed it. So um, there were three cast members at the showing last night. The woman who basically is the final girl, I'll just say that, spoiler alert, kind of. <laughs> Um, and then there's one character who played a ranger in the movie, he was there, and then one character who gets a particularly brutal kill towards the end of the film was also there. I'll write all the names down as I say this. They all did a fantastic job. I'm glad they were at the showing. They were all saying that they had a blast making the film. It's my favorite film of the year so far, which I know that's a big statement, and I 100% no, not everybody's going to agree with me on that. Even those who really enjoyed this film probably may not put it at the you know, number one of the year. But uh, you certainly gotta know who you are going into this because this is a very tame, very reserved type of horror film in the slasher genre as well. So not everybody is gonna vibe with this film at all, but it really is a very quiet love letter to the slasher genre and it, it pays off really well. I love what they did with this film. I love everything that was done with this film. Apparently it was shot twice, I heard uh, yesterday. I knew that this film, 
there was some issues with the production where they had to film it in two different locations. But I learned yesterday that this film was actually legitimately filmed twice. So that was impressive, the fact that they had the love and desire and care to redo everything a second time. It was because of uh, locations that they had to switch and, and something about the, the main... the the killer, the actor who played the killer, uh, they had to get someone else. But yeah, this was filmed in like the Kawartha Lakes area of Ontario at first, but then it was switched to Sault Ste. Marie, which is like three, four hours away from me, I think. Never been there, but I've heard a lot of things and it still feels local. It's all Southern Ontario. So all I can say is I love independent cinema like this and uh, I don't know what else to say without repeating myself. So I can say I recommend In a Violent Nature and um, with everything I said, you'll know exactly who you are and you'll know exactly if you love this kind of stuff or not. Just go for the kills, if anything else. Um, and it, it's not like it's overly long either, so it's not going to drag at any point. Uh, although, again, some people might find it does. And there is a moment at the end that some people are saying drags a bit, but um, there's a moment at the end in the climax of the film, I'll just say, um, is a bit of a strong love letter to slashers because of a character slash actor in particular, I'll just say that. If you're a fan of the genre, you're definitely gonna have a good time with this. Um, if it seems a bit too slow for you, give it a shot anyway, but maybe wait till it's streaming or something. Um, but I loved it, and that's all I really got for In a Violent Nature. So, subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews. I'll be back with more soon, so stay tuned for those. Check out what's on the channel already. Stay tuned for what's coming. Until next review, have a good one. Take care and cheers.